Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a preview of the latest, grittiest take to our Flyers versus the Vegas Golden Knights, as the Golden Knights are a team that really are only where they're at in the standings um, in third place uh, with the 68 points, 0.596 percentage to the Kings and, and uh, Calgary being above them is mostly because of their manpower games missed where they probably could have even been higher if they had that if they had guys in more games and also Robin Leonard earlier in the season was more consistent to what he's been of late in the back end of the season. And then Lauren Persaud's also been a good backup. He's played over 20 games this year, has done well, 276, 900, has had his games that he has looked shaky, uh, but you expect that from a backup goaltender. And then uh, Robin Leonard, again, has been able to get going better in this second half of the season, kind of a tale of two seasons for him. When it comes to how they're going to shake up, also, before I keep going, please just subscribe up above or down below on the easy-to-use widget. So up above here will be the widget. At the end, down below will be the easy to subscribe button, I should say. But when it comes to the lines, uh, Max Pacioretty, Eichel, and Wa are their first line. Uh, that line adds some size and also skating speed. So that's a line that might be a tough matchup, especially for our Flyers that don't have the best catch to match a line like that. Marsh or so, Carlson, and Smith are their second line. And then you have Carrier, Chandler Stevenson, and Amadio, which Chandler Stevenson, going from being a guy that was great in your first line, now being your third line center, he's hands down one of the best third line centers in the league. Evgeny Dadanoff, Jake Leshin, uh, who's been great with the Silver Knights uh, since he's been picked in 17 playing down there. He's got an opportunity to play good fourth-line minutes in 22 game. And then Keegan Colasar, who's played good fourth-line minutes for them for pretty much the entire season. Nicholas Hag, Alex Petrangelo, one of the best in the biz. Uh, Shea Theodore, one of the best in the biz with Zach Whitecloud, Ben Hutton, and Dylan Coglin, one of the underrated guys in the biz. Uh, with Ben Hutton on that third line, and I would have to envision uh, they're going to give Robin Leonard the nod tonight, uh, but we'll have to see when it comes to that, where I would also have to envision the Flyers are going to give Kataha the nod tonight, where when it comes to the Flyers, they're going to have Lawden center, okay, Lawden centering the first line with Giroux and Konechny, uh, Broussard, Farabee, Atkinson, Hayes in the third line, with Lindblom as his left winger, JVR as his right winger, okay, uh, Mayhew on the fourth line with Brown as his center, McEwen as his right winger. Then you have Provorov, Braun, Sanheim, Risto, that's been like that forever, uh, Yandel, and Sealer. So, the Flyers, I mean, that game against Chicago, I think most people would agree with the statement. It was a very weird game that the Flyers could have lost as easily as they were actually able to claim that 4-3 to three victory. Uh they, they got outshot by two, but they also, I thought, got outchanced in terms of the high octane. Uh, Atkinson was able to have two goals. Brass added one in. Um, and then you were able to also get the goal in that game by Oscar Lindblom, who's had a great second half of the season, which is also why it's interesting. He's still on the third line. But, but anyway, um, the the thing for the Flyers is in order to – you're going to have to score those dirty but good goals at this point with this team, get in front of the net score some of those dirty but good goals, have the mentality Atkinson's had more of late, where he went cold for a while from February there into the month of March. Now he's starting to have more of a shooter mentality again. You have to have TK have that shooting mentality again when he scored 24 straight goals, or 24 three, three straight seasons with 24 goals, I mean. Where if he can get back to that mentality while being the playmaker he is, that will help the team be able to beat teams like the Vegas Golden Knights. But we all know it on paper and just in general. Uh, the Vegas Golden Knights are a far superior team to our Philadelphia Flyers if they can have everybody come back like the Mark Stones of the world um, at the right time, combined uh, with also the fact that we're not going to see him, but Nolan Patrick actually is playing really good fourth line minutes for them. Braden McNabb's a really good defenseman. Alex Martinez is a really good defenseman. They don't even have, and Jan Mark's played good minutes for them. They don't even have them in the lineup, and they're still playing at a third place um, in the top three, still above the wild card pace, and can still catch the Kings, and if they have all these guys come back at the same time, they're just as dangerous as any of these other cup contending teams out there. The Vegas Golden Knights are really that outlier cup contender just because they miss so much manpower. Obviously, our Flyers are not being considered that, so I would have to say 
I'm definitely favoring the Golden Knights against us tonight, but maybe we'll play a really good game like we were able to do when I favored Carolina in a good bit against us, and then they were able to get that game to overtime. But we'll have to see. The Golden Knights are not a snake bitten team playing the Flyers because it's been too early of a history to be able to judge anything like that. Where the um, Chicago Blackhawks have been snake bitten in the Wells Fargo Center in the regular season, and that came to be again last game. The Flyers are really going to have to show up, show out, play one of their best games around Carter Hart. Have a stop passing the damn puck too many times, just shoot it mentality, and get the dirty but good goals. That's the only way I see them beating this Vegas Golden Knights team. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a preview, the latest edition of the Grittiest Take, to the Vegas Golden Knights, a team that's going to continue to get healthier and healthier. They do have Jack Eichel in against our Philadelphia Flyers, who are just kind of motoring into the deadline. And eventually some of these guys that are here now won't even be here by the uh, 21st deadline. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Enjoy your night and go Flyers. Hopefully they can somehow pull out a miracle win against the Golden Knights. Peace out, everybody.